All right, so this is my last video for today because I gotta get some food for this job. I'm working from four to 12, but I'm gonna talk about like how people think that anti-natalists always complain. Really, like we don't really complain, man. We just be realistic. You know, we see this suffering world and we can't do nothing about it. So we do kind of complain, you know, but not, Anti, there's anti-natalists that fucking try to better their lives, but still they realize and they're aware that it's not worth bringing someone here when there's more negative than positive, you know. Like, cause like, all you can do is complain, cause you can't stop this shit like physically when you're existing. The only time you stop stop this shit stop, is to not bring someone here, you know? And they won't even uh, exist. But it's kind of like a contradiction of, like, not all anti-natalists complain, like... Like, as long as they're aware and they question the world, and they just enjoy their hobbies or their interests and shit, you know, then... Eventually, it goes by fast, and then you don't exist anymore. And they're like, uh, yeah. They think their anti-natalists are depressed all the time. That's not true, dude. Like, it's anti-natalism is just being realistic. People think it's depressing, but it's not, you know? They're just being realistic about the world, and it's fucked up. People think that hearing something negative means you're depressed, you're... You should get help and stuff. No, I don't think so. Like, if you witness how fucked up this world is and shit, and you're aware from TV to your reality, and you see all this fucked up shit on the news, like murders, rapes, and all that, and then you hear one of your family members are dying of cancer, makes you not want to bring someone here and like, um, experience all that suffering in this world. So, yeah, anti-natalists don't really complain. Not all of them. But sometimes that's all you can do because you can't really do anything about it since you're here. You're like, oh, this shit should change, but, you know, if something changes, then there's still gonna be something fucked up, though. You know, the pros and cons. You know what I mean? I uh, explain that. Like, anti-natalist, like, not all of them are depressed either. Like I said in my one video, there's optimistic ones, there's ones that are just realists, you know what I mean? Like, what kind of anti-natalist I am, I am I'm more, like, realistic, kind of. I am pessimistic some days. Cause I see something fucked up, and I'm like, what the fuck, man, you know? Why is this shit so fucked up and they say why don't you just like stop complaining and do something about it you know change the world that's impossible dude you can't change the fucking world you know the more people you bring here then the more suffering it is you know what i'm doing something about i'm not bringing someone here that's what i'm doing that's the action i'm doing because i see this fucked up world and i'm not fucking reproducing you know, that's my action. I'm not really complaining. That's the th people say, why don't you bring someone here? They can change the world too. No, that's not always true. That's very, that's like 5%, man. 90, I mean, 95% of the time, they're not gonna change the world. <laughs> you know, it's just selfish. It's ridiculous. But uh, I'll catch you guys sometime this week. So...